very good morning everyone how are you all everyone fine bolo तो लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड बायबैक ऑफ इक्विटीशियस आई थिंक नो डाउट इन दैट तो फर्स्ट यू कैन मी यू कैन आस्क मी एनी डाउट इन टू चैप्टर वट एवर वी हैव डन दैट इज इंप्लॉय स्टॉक ऑप्शन प्लान एंड बायबैक ऑफ इक्विटीशियस no doubt chalo now we'll start today a new chapter write down chapter number 4 internal reconstruction internal reconstruction very simple chapter from examination point of view very simple this chapter normally a question of 12 to 16 marks may be asked from this chapter 12 to 16 marks but sometime they may also ask question one minute from ranging from 8 to 16 marks i should write down 8 to 16 marks chal to this chapter consists of 8 to 16 marks from examination point of view very important correct now Now first, let me ask you a question: Ki what actually reconstruction means? Reconstruction means what? Means if I ask you what is the dictionary meaning of reconstruction, but the what you will say? Everyone respond reconstruction. Correct. So what actually reconstruction means? Everyone. can you say reconstruction means what means we need to construct once again are you able to understand reconstruction means if there is a old building so old building may require reconstruction correct or we can say reorganization are you able to understand so old building may require reconstruction the point is what ki why we will do reconstruction in old building why we will do reconstruction old building can you say reconstruction will be done only when ki after reconstruction the value of building will increase means after reconstruction if the value of building does not increase or remain same or it does not increase significantly then can you say there is no use of reconstruction there is no use of reconstruction means uh, anyone will go for reconstruction of any asset i will say of any asset whenever we will get some future economic benefit from that reconstruction are you getting what i am saying but this chapter is not for building this chapter is not for any asset for building property for building or any property plan and equipment already we have done as 10 means i am not teaching you reconstruction of asset are you able to understand what i am saying so this chapter is for company for company now the question arises ki why a company will require reconstruction can is a company which is a loss making company loss making company not a not a one year loss means it was a loss making from last few years and they have used accumulated losses 
use accumulated losses you can say because of that use accumulated losses the value of shares also have declined in the market the value of shares of that company has declined in the market and it has declined substantially it has declined substantially in the market are you getting what i am saying correct means in this chapter we are discussing about which type of company this type of companies are known as sick company sick company are you getting correct sick companies means a company jo bimar ho chuka hai a company jo bimar ho chuka bimar kab hoga jab uska value kam ho jayega value of shares will be value of shares has reduced tremendously correct are you getting when the value of shares will reduce when it is a loss making company not for one year from last few years from past few years correct so it means we are going to learn in this chapter reconstruction of a company which is what which has used accumulated losses which has used accumulated losses correct are you getting but can i say just try to understand if there is a loss making company let us draw one balance sheet i will just try to give one picture to you balance sheet everyone suppose this is the balance sheet of one company it has an asset assets suppose property plant and equipment of rupees 10 lakh correct then investment investment of rupees 10 lakh let us assume correct and then current asset of rupees 5 lakh okay then capital capital of 20 lakh capital of 20 lakh and liabilities and liabilities of suppose again 20 lakh again 20 lakh you can see the balance sheet is not tallied means in this side it is 40 lakh and in this side it is 25 lakh so it means can i say in this case the net asset when i say net asset so net asset means what this is the net asset net asset is this so net asset kitna hua 25 minus 20 that is 5 so this net asset is less than the capital capital of the company what may be the reason the reason is what accumulated losses it means can i say this company has accumulated losses also to so loss kitna hai check karenge everyone how much loss loss is equal to to so can i say profit and loss account ka ek debit balance aa raha hoga to so what is the profit and loss account debit balance can i say agar isko hum 15 lakh kar de 15 not 15 40 means this is 25 correct na so 40 minus 15 is equal to how much 25 correct so can i say we have a debit balance means loss is how much 15 lakh so can i say now balance it will tally now balance it will tally have you understood this point have you understood this point so this is one i have just given one hypothetical hypothetical figure in one balance sheet to put something in your mind to put something in your mind are you able to understand yes sir now i have given you balance sheet where you can see the balance sheet mein in the asset side we have 25 lakh in the liability side means equity and liability side also we have 25 lakh but can i say this is a company which has generated huge accumulated losses in the last few years due to their operating business due to their operating activities correct understood now just try to understand if you find out a net asset if you find out a net asset so net asset is how much 25 lakh 25 lakh minus 20 lakh minus 20 lakh correct and if i divide by number of shares number of shares let us assume ki the book value means face value is 100 face value of shares is 100 so the number of shares become how much the number of shares is 20000 20000 so this become 5 lakh divided by what 20000 20000 
it means can i say 5 lakh divided by 20000 is equal to 25 per share but can i say we have taken what this is the book value of net asset but it might be a case that even the book value of property plant and equipment is 10 lakh but the realizable value the realizable value may be only 5 lakh the realizable value may be only 5 lakh the realizable value of this investment might be 2 lakh might be 2 lakh are you able to understand means can i say the assets are recorded at what cost price means debt fixed asset means property plant and equipments are recorded at depreciated cost price understood and investments are also at cost price only are you able to understand and the realizable value is what less than what their book value it can be also possible situation means there are two type of losses one is the what reduction in the value of asset and one what accumulated losses accumulated losses this is the picture of this company correct now my question to you all my question to you all whether any bank will provide loan to this company no one will provide whether any investor will give fund to this company no one will give are you able to understand what i am saying have you understood this point means this company even though they want to continue their business but they do not have what they do not have sufficient working capital so they will approach either investor or they will approach i what they will approach finance a bank can is so no one will be willing to give any type of loan or any type of fund in this business because it is what a sick company bimar company ko koi bhi kuch nahi deta hai means can i say the only one option only one option available just try to understand only one option available for this company is the liquidation only one option available to this company is liquidation this much you understood what i am saying means can i say if the company is not able to get loan or any funds from the outsider so only one option available with the director is what to liquidate this company to liquidate this company have you understood this much this much have you understood respond are you able to understand what i am saying means just i am creating a mahol so that you can understand this chapter up to this any doubt up to this any doubt everyone now when i said only one option available for the company is liquidation but can i say liquidation is is always liquidation is always against the interest of public who have invested in this company who have invested in the companies means even though i said directors just try to understand even though i have said that directors have only one option only one option that is liquidation but can i say liquidation of company will go against the interest of the public interest of the investor who have invested in the company who have invested in the company means suppose this is a public companies so can i say the many investors have invested in this company are you getting so when i say liquidation of company that will violate the interest of the violate the interest of the public correct now when a company is liquidated when a company is liquidated so it gives a negative impression in the minds of public and public will not be willing to invest in any types of company a public bhi koi bhi company mein investment nahi karega therefore government want that no company should be liquidated government ka ek intention kya hota hai ki until unless the last until unless this company should be, only sorry until unless only one option is available that is liquidation the company should not be liquidated the company should not be liquidated have you understood now just come to the second scenario just come to the second scenario i said one option available of one option available with the company is what liquidation but it can be a second scenario that even though even though it is a sick company but can i say this company has a bright future right now this company is a sick company means it is a loss making company in the past year but can i say this company might have some might have some profitable contract and by by performing that contract they may earn huge profit in future are you getting means they are doing some research and development activities 
and under that research they may generate some what they may generate some software which may be sold in future and they may generate use profit from that use profit from that software are you getting what i am saying means right now it is a loss making company right now it is a loss making company right now the situation is what he this company is a loss making company but they may have some they may have some business plan they may have some future business plan which may generate use profit in the future use profit in the future means right now the condition is worst but future is bright but the future is bright this may be a situation so in that situation but our directors will like to liquidate this company or to continue this company bolo yes or no bolo in this situation when the when the present is worst but future is what when the present is worst but future is bright but uh, we should continue or we should discontinue our business we should continue or we should discontinue our business bolo everyone respond can i say yes sir we should continue we should continue but can i say for continuing the business we require funds funds from outside a means either bank or from what public but can i say in this situation when the present is worst no one is willing no one will be willing to give any type of finance means even the future is bright but कौन विश्वास करेगा अगर आपका पास परफॉर्मेंस खराब है तो आपको फ्यूचर आपकी फ्यूचर में कोई विश्वास नहीं करेगा आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड तो ये समस्या है समस्या आप समझ गए कि व्हाट इज द पॉइंट कि कंपनी हैज कंपनी हैज राइट नाउ प्रेजेंट इज वर्स्ट फ्यूचर इज ब्राइट कंपनी वांट टू कंटिन्यू द बिजनेस बट नो वन इज विलिंग टू प्रोवाइड एनी टाइप ऑफ फंड इन दैट सिचुएशन व्हाट नीड टू बी डन इन दैट सिचुएशन व्हाट नीड टू बी डन तो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट रीजन कंपनीज एक्ट has given a given a provision of reconstruction of company reconstruction of company means this company's capital structure will be restructured sorry the company's capital structure will be reconstructed reconstructed are you getting what i am saying what is reconstruction that we need to understand just try to understand meri baat ko what i have said meri baat ko samajhna everyone just try to understand कि कैन आई से वी नीड टू डिक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ पीपी मींस द वैल्यू ऑफ पीपी इज व्हाट 10 लाख बट हाउ मच इज द रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू 5 लाख मींस इट इज ओवर वैल्यूड बाय 5 लाख मींस कैन आई से वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट लॉस व्हाट इज द टोटल लॉस फर्स्ट रिडक्शन इन द वैल्यू ऑफ pp how much 5 lakh 5 lakh then reduction in the value of investment reduction in the value of investment correct ek kaam karte isko 8 lakh kar dete hain 8 lakh to reduction in the value of investment is 2 lakh reduction in the value of asset is 2 lakh then how much accumulated losses How much accumulated losses? वो कितना था? Fifteen lakh. Fifteen lakh is the total accumulated losses. What is the total loss? Total loss कितना हो गया? Total loss is fifteen plus seven. That is twenty two lakh. Twenty two lakh. So reconstruction means what? To write off this loss. If you are able to write off this loss, then can I say company's position will be reconstructed? the company's financial position will be reconstructed so how to write up this loss that we need to understand how to write up this loss can you see this loss can be written off through reserve only but we do not have reserve you can see you do not have reserve reserve mein to kya negative balance hai kuch loss hai means any loss you can write off from reserve but this company does not have reserve so now question arises ki kahan se is loss ko write off kare so this is only we need to understand how to write off the loss due to overvaluation of asset and due to accumulated losses means the objective of this chapter is to write off everyone the objective of this chapter is to write off write off what losses due to what overvaluation of asset overvaluation of asset and due to past accumulated losses due to past accumulated losses वो हमें समझना है कि कैसे लॉस को राइट ऑफ करेंगे करेक्ट आर यू गेटिंग व्हाट आई एम सेइंग 
Have you understood this point? Yes, sir. So in this case, what happened? Just try to understand. In this case, what will happen? The the board of directors will call first meeting of creditors and debenture holders. Means when I am saying creditors, so these are trade creditors and debenture holders or bank loan are what non trade creditors. Means both are creditors. Are you getting what I am saying? So first they will they will call the meeting of creditor. When I am saying creditor, so that will include both what trade payable and non trade payable. So non trade payable may have debentures and bank loan, and in trade payable, of course we have what our trade payable, the amount paid payable to what supplier or any other expense payable. Are you able to understand what I am saying? Yes, sir. Correct now. So first company will call the meeting of creditors. The creditor will include both. Trade creditor and non-trade creditor. Correct. Understood. Now, just try to understand what company will, what company will inform to this creditor. Just try to understand what company will inform. Company will inform that. Right now, just try to understand. Suppose you are the creditor and I am the director of the company. I am just negotiating with you. I say that we have two options: either to liquidate or to continue our business. If we liquidate, then you will not get anything. Just try to understand. If I am saying that if we are liquidate, then what will be the situation? Check it. Can I see the value of asset is what? Eight lakh investment, five lakh property, plant and equipment. This is the value, and five lakh current asset. Total become eighteen lakh. Eighteen lakh. Correct now. Understood. And right now the liability is what twenty lakh. So first we need to pay to the liabilities. But can I say we cannot pay to the liability right now in total? Means there will be some deficiency. There will be some deficiency in payment to the creditor. So what negotiation we are doing? That we have two options: either to discontinue or continue. Discontinue means either to liquidate. In li if the liquidation happens. Then we need to sell all the asset and pay our liability. Then whatever surplus left, that will be given to you. We don't know right now how much surplus will be left. I am just trying to negotiate with you. Or what we can say, we can continue the business. We can continue the business because we have a project in our mind which is very much profitable, which is very much profitable. So you need to cooperate with us. You need to cooperate with us. Your liability is twenty lakh that we need to pay. Your liability is twenty lakh that we need to pay. Are we able to understand? So what we'll do because our profit, because our venture, future venture is very much profitable, and we are sure that price, the value of shares will increase tremendously in future. Means I am just giving one what, one notion to you that in future our company shares value might increase because we have a profitable contract. Means I need to convince you that the future is bright. So we have only two options: either to liquidate or to Either to liquidate or to continue. If, but if you want to continue, I want your cooperation. I want your cooperation. So we'll not be able to pay you right now. We will not be able to pay you right now. But I'm just demanding some cooperation from you. What we'll do? We'll convert your liability into equity capital. We'll convert your liability into equity capital. But you need to reduce the value of liability. But it's what they are saying. That you just waive 50%. 50% right now. You need to waive your 50% liability right now. Means 10 lakh liability will be cancelled, and this remaining 10 lakh we will convert into equity shares. Means it will be converted into equity shares right now. And it is my 100% belief that this 10 lakh in future will become 100 lakh. Means 10 lakh equity. The value of 10 lakh equity in future means after five year or seven year or eight year it will become 100 lakh. I'm just trying to convince you, convince you. I'm just trying to convince you all creditor. Understood what I'm saying? Have you understood? Now there can be two situation. Either direct, either either creditor will be convinced or they will ask for liquidation. Means if they are not convinced, then so we are out of this chapter. If suppose they are not agreeing, we will say no, no, no. हमें तो अभी पैसा दे दो. Are you getting what I am saying? Suppose you are saying that no, we don't want, we don't want such a, such arrangement. We don't want such arrangement with you. You pay whatever is left with you. We are happy with that. Then so can I say only one option is left that is liquidation. Then this chapter is closed. 
then there is some other chapter liquidation of company wahan par jana padega means in this chapter always always can a creditor will agree creditor will agree to cooperate correct na and will have an will have an int, will have a notion that in future the value of equity may increase the value of equity may increase to so 10 lakh of now will become 100 lakh aur chalo 100 lakh mein 50 lakh bhi ho gaya to usko fayda hai na are you able to understand what i am saying to so in this chapter when we are calling the meetings of debenture holders and other creditors they need to be always what agree with the terms and condition if they are not agreeing so we will be out of this chapter we will to go to some other chapter that is liquidation of companies have you understood this point correct now let us assume that they agreed with this terms and conditions it means can i say out of 22 lakh how much loss has been written off due to reduction of liability so can i say if we reduce the liability that is gain and from that gain this loss will be written off means can i say this 22 lakh out of this 22 lakh how much gain reduction how much gain is due to reduction of liability so with this gain can i say 10 lakh loss will be written off 10 lakh loss will be written off correct understood yes sir so it become 12 lakh correct understood this point so once the meeting of debenture holders and other creditors are over and they are agreed with all the terms and conditions now we'll call the meeting of preference holders correct now same type of negotiation will do with preference holders but in my example there is no preference holders now we'll call the meeting of equity holders now we'll call the meeting of equity holders can i say once we'll call the meeting of equity holders there is unke paas to kuch bacha hi nahi hai means can i say if the company is liquidated right now they will not get nothing so they will always agree to continue only and the investor jo malik hota hai na वो कभी भी बिजनेस को बंद नहीं करना चाहेगा इवन दो इट इज लॉस दे विल ट्राई एंड ट्राई एंड ट्राई आर यू गेटिंग व्हाट आई एम सेइंग नाउ शेयर होल्डर्स हैव नो अदर ऑप्शन ओनली वन ऑप्शन टू कंटिन्यू बिकॉज़ इफ दिस कंपनी इज लिक्विडेटेड दे आर नॉट गेटिंग एनीथिंग बिकॉज़ जो भी बचेगा वो तो डिबेंचर होल्डर्स के पास चल जाएगा आर यू गेटिंग व्हाट आई एम सेइंग मेरी बात तो समझ पा रहे हो तो शेयर होल्डर्स से ज्यादा ज्यादा नेगोशिएशन करने की जरूरत नहीं है can i say equity shareholders will always agree to compromise in this situation and what is that compromise and arrangement that we need to understand what the directors will say directors will say that you need to you need to reduce your capital by how much 12 lakh you need to reduce your capital by 12 lakh so yahan pe karenge minus reduction of reduction of capital how much 12 lakh and you can see you can see can i say with the compromise done by what shareholders and what creditor of the company and some arrangement has been done with them we are able to write off the entire loss of the company we are able to write off the entire loss of the company is correct now no can i say now entire loss has been written off so after this reduction of capital what is the picture of balance sheet check karenge picture kya hua to can i say pp will now become 5 lakh investment will become how much 8 lakh and current asset will remain 5 lakh correct itna hi tha yes sir and capital capital 20 lakh minus what 20 lakh minus 12 lakh means how much 8 lakh 8 lakh and creditor 20 lakh now become out of 20 lakh 10 lakh is reduced and 10 lakh become what capital only so plus what 10 lakh capital become 10 lakh you can see can is a profit and loss debit balance is entire return of so now this balance sheet will tally this balance sheet will tally have you understood this point this balance sheet will tally this is known as internal reconstruction this is known as internal reconstruction 
है बस इतना ही चैप्टर है जना एंट्री समझाना जना एंट्री कुछ नहीं है This is very simple chapter. I think you have understood whatever I have said. I think you have understood. Bolo. If you have understood, then I will proceed. Everyone respond. Have you understood this much? Yes, sir. Now there are two doubt will come. As a student, two doubt should come. First doubt, sir, reduction of capital is not allowed. Same thing when I have done redemption of preferences, I said reduction of capital is not allowed. Therefore, we create CRR to make capital intact. In the buyback of equity shares also, we have said that reduction of capital should not be allowed. Therefore, we create CRR. तो आपको एक डाउट आएगा सर हाउ कैन वी रिड्यूस आवर कैपिटल हाउ कैन वी रिड्यूस आवर कैपिटल मींस कंपनीज एक्ट सेज वी शुड नॉट रिड्यूस आवर कैपिटल अंटिल अनलेस द परमिशन ऑफ हाई कोर्ट हैज बीन रिसीव्ड मींस विद द प्रायर अप्रूवल ऑफ हाई कोर्ट ओनली वी कैन डू रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल तो व्हेनेवर व्हेनेवर देयर इज अ स्कीम ऑफ इंटरनल रिकंस्ट्रक्शन कंपनी शुड गिव सम कंपनी शुड गेट प्रायर अप्रूवल प्रायर approval from high court from high court means without the permission of high court can you say this internal reconstruction scheme is not possible this internal reconstruction scheme is not possible correct and high court will give permission only when when the future, when the project whatever business project which we are going to introduce in the market for future benefit that is viable that is viable and profitable means once the high court will be once the high court will understand the viability of this project they will give the permission of internal reconstruction because government want also that company should not be liquidated company should not be liquidated once the high court permission has been received once the high court approval has been received then then companies act will not be allowed then companies act will not be applied for applying what Applying internal reconstruction scheme. Are we able to understand what I am saying? Very bad. Ko is bad ko samjhe. Means entire provision of company jack may become null and void while doing internal reconstruction scheme. Means we can do reduction of capital. We can reduce the value of PP. We can reduce the value of PP. We can reduce the value of asset. We can increase the value of asset also. Means while doing this internal reconstruction scheme, jana entries will not apply. Companies Act means Companies Act will not be applied once we receive the permission or approval from High Court for internal reconstruction scheme. Means now whatever will be done will be as per the approval, as per the approval of High Court, as per the approval of High Court. Means now reduction of capital can be done. The first doubt is over. First doubt is over. He reduction of capital is allowed only once we receive the approval from High Court. Only once we receive the approval from High Court. Second doubt is what? Second doubt is what? Sir, even though it is now internally reconstructed, whether bank will give loan? Yes, bank will now give loan because now can I see? If you see this, just try to understand. If anyone will see this balance sheet, anyone will see the balance sheet. There is no loss. And if we will inform about the future project, and if they are convinced, they will be they will be willing to invest in this company. they will be willing to invest in this company correct now so you can see the company has been reconstructed to write up the loss to remove to remove to remove the negative impression from the minds of financiers and investors from to remove the negative impression from the minds of what well, financiers and investors have you understood this point correct so can i say if any financier or investor will go to will go through the business project and they are convinced with the business project about the future profitability so of course they will invest in this company of course they will invest in this company correct now third doubt is what sir then to every company will do like this every company will do like this sir they will take the permission from high court and then they will take loan from the companies and uh, they will take the loan from 
बैंक करेक्ट ना देन वन सेकेंड किंग फीसर वाला केस आ जाएगा ऐसे तो सर बहुत सारा घोटाला हो सकता है आर यू गेटिंग वट आई एम सिंग देव वॉट हाईकोर्ट से वॉट हाईकोर्ट से कि वंस द कंपनी इज इंटरनली रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन वंस द कंपनी इज इंटरनली रिकन्स्ट्रक्टेड देन दैट कंपनी शुड राइट शुड मैंशन एंड रिड्यूस्ड एंड रिड्यूस्ड एंड रिड्यूस आफ्टर द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी इन ईच फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट पब्लिश इन ईच फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट पब्लिश आफ्टर इंटरनल रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन स्कीम करेक्ट ना मीन सपोज द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी इज एक्स वाई जेड तो एक्स वाई जेड लिमिटेड एंड रिड्यूस मीन्स नाउ वट एवर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट यूल पब्लिश इन दैट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट आपके नाम के बाद एक काला दाग लग जाएगा एंड रिड्यूस मीन्स नाउ एनी फाइनेंशियल or any investor who is going through this balance sheet will be able to understand ki this is an internally reconstructed company internally reconstructed company means in past they have a used accumulated losses which has been written off due to what due to which has been written off from what reduction of capital correct but they have a one positive point also also that high court has given the permission for this internal reconstruction why high court has given the permission for internal reconstruction because future is bright correct na to because high court has given a permission to have they have a positive impression chal ya go through kar lete hain project mein kya dikkat hai and if they are convinced they will invest in this company to so what high court has said till till we inform further we should you should write down you should mention and reduce after the name of the company means this can be removed only only after once the high court is of the view that now this company started generated profit started earning profit means this can be removed only by order of what high court have you understood this much correct but if you have understood this much now we'll come to the jana entries jana entries will be very simple one by one we'll take all the jana entries bolo have you understood this much write down reconstruction means reorganization of a company of a company dekho it is of two types point number a external reconstruction point number b internal reconstruction now i think abundus in this chapter we are covering only internal reconstruction we are not covering external reconstruction it does not means external reconstruction is not in our syllabus external reconstruction is also in our syllabus but it will be covered dekho it will be covered in amalgamation chapter means the next chapter will be amalgamation in that chapter we will cover external reconstruction right now we will not discuss anything about external reconstruction automatically it will be covered correct but reconstruction are two type external and internal we are only right now our focus is only on internal reconstruction correct right now under internal reconstruction
the scheme the objective the objective of reorganization is achieved is achieved without going into liquidation without going into liquidation under this scheme under this scheme accumulated losses due to due to overvaluation overvaluation of assets and past operating losses correct is written off is written off through compromised compromised and arrangement and arrangement with creditors and members when i am saying members members means what shareholders so creditors and members of company company after prior approval prior approval from whom from high court high court now what is the procedure of filing application in the high court what are the legal requirement everything will be done in your company act means there is one chapter compromise and arrangement in companies act correct now a chapter a compromise and arrangement but not in ca enter this will be in ca final correct now so what are the legal requirement wo main aap se discuss karne wala nahi hu kyon time waste kare apna correct now the legal requirement will be done in your companies act and that is a part of ca final syllabus not ca enter syllabus correct now so i am just writing ki compromise and arrangement legal requirement will be will be will be as per companies act correct covered in ca final syllabus ca final syllabus correct so that i am not discussing not required also we are here once the legal requirement are complied then what are the accounting treatment under this scheme wo hame samajhna hai correct na hum to legal requirement ke baad mein aate hain means aapko agar legal requirement banna hai to ja ke ja ke kis se baat karo your law faculty se baat karo have you understood this point yes sir correct yes sir but i think you have understood what i want to say any doubt no come to 
अकाउंटिंग ट्रीटमेंट अकाउंटिंग ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट इज ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल तो कंपनीज एक्ट अलाउ ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल मीन चेंजेस इन द क्लास ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल चेंजेस इन द क्लास ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड लिखो इट मीन्स चेंज इन फेस वैल्यू फेस वैल्यू ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल शेयर कैपिटल विदाउट विदाउट एनी रिडक्शन एनी रिडक्शन इन पेड अप कैपिटल एनी रिडक्शन इन पेड अप कैपिटल करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड पेड अप कैपिटल देन एड ऑन ऑल्टरेशन कैन बी डन कैन बी डन इन टू वेज इन टू वेज फर्स्ट इज नोन एज पॉइंट नंबर ए कॉन्सोलिडेशन कॉन्सोलिडेशन ऑफ शेयर्स कॉन्सोलिडेशन ऑफ शेयर्स मैडम कॉन्सोलिडेशन ऑफ शेयर्स न कॉन्सोलिडेशन मीन्स वॉट कॉन्सोलिडेशन मीन्स वॉट कन्वर्सन ऑफ शेयर्स कन्वर्सन ऑफ शेयर्स ऑफ लोअर डिनोमिनेशन इन टू शेयर्स ऑफ हायर डिनोमिनेशन डिनोमिनेशन हिया मीन्स फेस वैल्यू नहीं समझ में आया लेटस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल लेटस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम एग्जाम्पल समझते हैं करेक्ट ना सपोज कंपनी हैज नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स फेस वैल्यू एंड सपोज दिस इज पेड अप कैपिटल पेड अप कैपिटल करेक्ट तो कंपनी हैज टेन थाउजेंड शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज टेन इंच हाउ मच वन लैख करेक्ट ना वट यूल डू यूल कॉन्सोलिडेट कॉन्सोलिडेट मीन्स कंबाइन टिल कंबाइन शेयर्स ऑफ स्मॉलर डिनोमिनेशन टू मेक इट वार शेयर्स ऑफ हायर डिनोमिनेशन सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू कंबाइन टेन शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज टेन इंच इन टू वन शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड इंच तो पेड ऑफ कैपिटल रिमीन सेम तो क्या करोगे टेन शेयर्स को कॉन्सोलिडेट करोगे वन शेयर में टेन शेयर्स विल बी कॉन्सोलिडेटेड इन वन शेयर्स तो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कॉन्सोलिडेट इन टू फेस वैल्यू ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड इंच means you want to change the class of share capital class of share capital so when you change the face value it means the class of share capital changes class of share capital changes but paid up capital remains same means there is no changes in the paid up capital so matlab what will be the number of shares the number of shares will be 1000 correct understood so this is before consolidation this is after consolidation are you getting what i am saying before consolidation and this is after consolidation but what jana entry will pass jana entry kya pass karoge jana entries to can i say it is nothing but it is nothing but share certificate of rupees 10 each will be converted into share certificate of rupees 100 each correct now so first you need to cancel the share certificate of rupees 10 each aap kaise cancel karoge bas to mangwana padega na means you will what you will do you will you will demand share certificate of rupees 10 each from shareholders and then you will cancel it and then you will allot what share certificate of rupees 100 each so any shareholders 
who is having 10 shares of rupees 10 each they will get one shares of rupees 100 each so unka paid up capital same raha have you understood the jana entry kya karenge jana entry will very simple we'll say share capital share capital of rupees 10 each will be debited will be debited correct to share capital to share capital of rupees 100 each will be credited and the amount remains same means can i say in this case there is no reduction of capital there is no reduction of capital understood this point very simple correct yes sir so can i say consolidation means consolidation means conversion of shares of lower denomination into what into shares of higher denomination higher denomination higher denomination without without reduction of without reduction of paid up capital without reduction of paid up capital simple samjhe is baat ko have you understood this point bolo yes sir we have understood correct to so, consolidation you understood i think no doubt yes sir then i don't point number b point number b is known as just ulta ulta is sub division of shares sub division sub division of shares i think you have understood sub division means what you know to sub divide a shares of higher denomination into shares of lower denomination into shares of lower denomination means if i take example example likhenge now i write on nos nos means number of shares number of shares correct face value and paid up capital paid up capital yes sir now suppose we were having 1000 shares 1000 shares of rupees 100 each so how much 1 lakh 1 lakh now we want to subdivide 1 shares of rupees 100 each into 10 shares of rupees 10 each means will convert one shares of rupees 100 each into 10 shares of rupees 10 each correct now are you doing same thing this is known as sub division of shares correct yes sir so this will become how much this will become 10 this will remain same and the number of shares will change that will now become 10000 so this is before sub division this is after sub division after subdivision jana entry will what bata jana entry kya hoga jana entry will be share capital share capital old old kya 100 will be cancelled to debit kar denge it is cancelled and new share certificate will be issued to new share certificate of of what rupees new share certificate of what rupees rupees 10 will be issued ये कितना आ गया one lakh understood this point जना entry is very simple old share certificate will be cancelled and new share certificate will be issued correct yes sir तो what subdivision means लिखो subdivision subdivision or we also call it split shares we also call it split shares 
सबडिविजन मींस मींस क्या कन्वर्शन कन्वर्शन ऑफ शेयर्स ऑफ व्हाट हायर डिनोमिनेशन हायर डिनोमिनेशन इन टू वाट शेयर्स ऑफ लोअर डिनोमिनेशन लोअर डिनोमिनेशन करेक्ट विदाउट विदाउट रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल विदाउट रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल विदाउट रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल अंडरस्टूड दिस वाइंड है तो कहने से नोट क्या करेंगे नोट क्या है देखो ड्यू टू ऑल्टरेशन ड्यू टू ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल ड्यू टू ऑल्टरेशन ऑफ शेयर कैपिटल बताओ वट वट विल चेंज वट विल नॉट चेंज बताओ कैन ए से नंबर ऑफ शेयर विल चेंज नंबर ऑफ शेयर विल चेंज करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड कैन ए से फेस वैल्यू विल चेंज फेस वैल्यू मीन्स क्लास ऑफ शेयर्स क्लास विल चेंज बट वट विल नॉट चेंज वट विल नॉट चेंज बताओ कैन ए से पेड अप वैल्यू या पेड अप कैपिटल पेड अप कैपिटल रिमेन सेम तो पेड अप कैपिटल रिमेन सेम तो वेन पेड अप कैपिटल रिमेन सेम मीन दिस नो रिडक्शन इट मीन्स नो रिडक्शन मीन नो कॉम्प्रोमाइज तो दिस नो कॉम्प्रोमाइज बाई द मेंबर विद दिस ऑल्टरेशन यहां पर कोई कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं हुआ आर यूरिंग वट एम सिंग तो कैन इज ए पेड अप कैपिटल रिमेन सेम दैट इज नो रिडक्शन ऑफ नो रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल नो रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट तो दिस नो रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल ड्यू टू वट ड्यू टू Due to alteration of share capital. Up to this, any doubt? No doubt. Have you understood this point? Batao. So this was point number one. No doubt. Then come to point number two. Write down. Reduction of or yeah, cancellation. Better write down cancellation of. cancellation of uncalled capital uncalled uncalled capital cancellation of uncalled capital now you know that there may be some partly paid up shares partly called up shares correct na to usko uncalled capital bolte hain let us take one example what i want to say correct understood to example dekhenge number of shares number of shares face value now write down called up capital ab yahan called up likhna zaruri hai and paid up paid up capital called up value and paid up capital understood theek hai so suppose we are having 10000 shares of rupees 100 each 80 rupees called up so this become what 8 lakh 8 lakh correct understood so when i am saying cancellation of uncalled capital cancellation so they want to cancel this so they want to reduce face value from 100 to 80 means when i am saying cancellation of uncalled capital means now in future they will never call 20 rupees 
So if they do not want to call rupees 20, they want to cancel the liability of uncalled capital from shareholders' point of view. So it means now face value will change from 100 to 80. So face value will change from 100 to 80. अब समझ रहे मेरी बात को? तो यहाँ पर reduction called up capital का नहीं हो रहा है, face value क्या हो रहा है? So this is before. तो यहाँ reduce क्या किया? Reduce. You can see reduce. This will be reduced by 20. This will be reduced by 20. So now after क्या हो गया? This is the 10,000 shares of rupees 80 each. 80 rupees called up and this become 8 lakh. 8 lakh. Are you getting what I am saying? Have you understood? So in this case also you can see paid up capital remains same. Paid up capital remains same. Only what has changed? The class of shares has changed from 100 to 80. The class of the class of shares has changed from 100 to 80. Means when you reduce, when you cancel the uncalled, when you reduce the, when you reduce or cancel the uncalled capital, the paid up capital does not changes. So now it become 10,000 shares of rupees 80, 80 rupees called up. Now it become fully called up. Now it become fully called up. So whenever there is a changes in the class of capital, means whenever there is changes in the face value, the simple journal entry will be share capital old account debit to share capital new. Understood? Means what will be journal entry? Bata? Share capital, share capital, rupees hundred will be cancelled. So this certificate will be cancelled, and a new share certificate of rupees eighty will be issued to the all the shareholders. Correct? To two share capital, two share capital, rupees eighty, eight lakh. Have you understood this point? Bolo. This point you understood? Try down. Cancellation of uncalled capital means conversion of Conversion of partly called up, partly called up capital, partly called up capital, yeah, partly called up shares into what? Fully called up. Fully called up shares. Correct. Understood. This point. So, due to. Due to. Cancellation. Of uncalled capital. Uncalled capital, kya kya hua? Check karenge. So first, can I say, face value change ho gya? So face value, face value of shares changes. Correct? Whenever face value changes means class changes. There is change in class. Correct? Number of shares remain same. So in this case, number of shares remain same. Ab samaj rahe ho? Number of shares remain same and therefore it is not alteration. So alteration and number of shares bhi change hota hai. Reduction of uncalled capital number of shares remain same. So isko aap, isko aap alteration nahi bol sakte ho. This point have you understood? Yes sir. And paid up capital also remains same. Paid up capital, paid up capital remains same. Have you understood this point? Yes, sir. So in this case also, paid up capital remains same. Means there is no compromise. There is no reduction of capital. Correct now? It means no reduction of capital. No reduction of 
capital i think you are understanding correct the first point we have done alteration of share capital second point we have done reduction of uncalled capital third point third point reduction of paid up capital so reduction of paid up capital now ab baat aa gaya reduction of paid up capital so from the word it is understood ki paid up capital reduce hoga means there is a compromise by the member member kuch compromise kar raha hai compromise kar raha hai correct and this is the objective of this chapter ki with this compromise paid up capital will be reduced and with that reduction we write off all the losses yahi to objective of this chapter hai correct understood now in this case there are two ways of reduction of paid up capital first likho point number a reduction of reduction of paid up capital paid up capital with change in face value with change in face value now means paid up capital will reduce hoga and the class of shares will also change means whenever i am saying face value will change the class of shares will change correct na to example dekhte hain ek bar example dekhne se zyada samajh mein aayega example likho number of shares face value called up value and paid up capital correct so before what is the situation let us assume there is 1 lakh shares of rupees 100 and fully called up correct to ye kitna ho gaya 1 crore yes sir understood then again minus reduction reduction and you want to reduce the paid up capital means this will be reduced 20 suppose you want to reduce by 20 correct to face value also you reduce means you reduce what paid up capital with Face value, correct? तो तो इसका effect क्या हुआ? तो after क्या हुआ? हो गया बताओ? After, it become one lakh shares of rupees eighty and eighty rupees called up means eighty lakh means eighty lakh correct? बोलो this much you understood? बताओ this much you understood eighty lakh तो आफ्टर आफ्टर रिडक्शन ऑफ पेड अप कैपिटल इट बिकम वन लैक शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीस एटी इच कॉल्ड अप इज एटी एंड इट बिकम एटी लैक इट बिकम एटी लैक मींस रिडक्शन इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी लैक रिडक्शन इज ट्वेंटी लैक यू कैन सी यू कैन सी कि रिडक्शन इज ट्वेंटी लैक मींस वन लैक सॉरी वन करोड़ कैपिटल इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय ट्वेंटी लैक सो दैट नाउ इट बिकम एट लैक कैपिटल एट लैक कैपिटल अंडरस्टूड now for the first time you can see there is a reduction of paid up capital and this is the only objective this is the only objective of this chapter ki you reduce paid up capital and with this reduction you write off all the losses correct therefore in this chapter any reduction of capital ya yeah, any reduction by liability will be transferred to a special account that is known as what that is known as capital reduction account capital reduction account ab samjhe ho to ek special account mein transfer karenge that is known as capital reduction account understood this point bolo have you understood so what jana it will pass batao share capital share capital old rupees 100 account debit 1 crore 1 crore टू शेयर कैपिटल टू शेयर कैपिटल रुपीज एट्टी दैट इज एट्टी लैक यू कैन सी वेन एवर देर चेंजेस इन क्लास जब भी चेंजेस इन क्लास होगा 
तो इट मीन ओल्ड शेयर कैपिटल विल बी डेबिटेड एंड न्यू शेयर कैपिटल विल बी क्रिएटेड बिकॉज यहाँ पर न्यू शेयर सर्टिफिकेट आर इशूड अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट यस सर एंड द बैलेंस विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू ए स्पेशल अकाउंट दैट इज नोन एज कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट दैट इज ट्वेंटी लैक सिंपल 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 बोलो हैव यू अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट एंड डाउट I think you are understanding. यहां पर क्या क्या हुआ चेक करेंगे देखो ड्यू टू एव रिडक्शन वट वट है नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स number of shares remain same correct face value of shares miss class changes correct and paid up capital paid up capital also changes understood this point so for the first time paid up capital change hua means balance ka total mein farak aayega understood this point yes sir this is point number a correct right on point number b very simple kuch zyada samjhane ke liye aapko samajh raha hai kya chapter hai to so, khud hi kar lete correct now reduction of reduction of paid up capital paid up capital without without changing without changing face value without changing face value means now bolta without changing face value means class change hoga i want jana entry from you If you can give me jana entry means you have understood whatever I have said till now. अगर आप जना एंट्री करेक्ट दे दे तो इसका इसका मतलब मेरी सारी तपस्या सफल हो गई अरुण जितना भी मैंने मेहनत किया आपके ऊपर अभी तक दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ओके टू यू टू गिव जना एंट्री फॉर दिस करेक्ट तो आई विल गिव यू एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल तो रेड ऑन नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स फेस वैल्यू called up capital and paid up capital paid up capital paid up capital samjhe is baat ko to before kya position tha it was 1 lakh shares of rupees 100 each fully called up 1 crore understood this point correct and now you want to reduce reduce your paid up capital by 20 but without change in the face value means there is no change in the face value there is no change in the face value means reduction to kitna ho gaya 20 lakh ka 20 lakh reduction means after reduction what is the position after reduction 1 lakh shares of rupees 100 each but now it is partly called up means now it become 80 now it become 80 understood 80 lakh means you can see paid up capital reduced by 20 lakh only but in this case phase value remain same phase value remain same means can i say we converted fully called up into partly called up fully called up into partly called up means in this case the shareholders the shareholders will be called in future to pay the remaining amount to pay the remaining amount but the, what will be the jana entry जना एंट्री क्या होगा जना एंट्री क्या होगा बताओ जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द निगोशिएशन विद मेंबर्स ऐसा क्यों करेंगे क्या करेंगे सब मीटिंग में तय होता है करेक्ट ना इट मींस वंस द शेयर होल्डर्स आर एग्रीड विद दिस देन ओनली वी कैन गो फॉर दिस जना एंट्रीज अदरवाइज तो हाई कोर्ट परमिशन ही देगा मींस हाई कोर्ट ऑलवेज वांट व्हाट कि यू शुड 
you should take also what you should take uh, you should give the consent of all the members and creator for internal reconstruction if the members and creator does not give the consent for this scheme then high court will not give any approval understood yes sir batao what will be jana entry in this case if you can give me jana entries means you have understood iska jana entry bata do kya hoga everyone everyone respond what will be jana entry for this so i got one correct jana entry so of course in this you can see the class of share does not change means there is no need to convert share certificate of rupees 100 into share certificate of new value correct na so class remains same means there is no need to what no need to demand old share certificate and issue new certificate means can i say what jana entry ki share capital share capital of rupees 100 will be simply reduced by what will be simply reduced by 20 lakh will be simply reduced by 20 lakh to what to what capital reduction account capital reduction account capital reduction account you just try to understand means whatever jana entry we have done before this jitna bhi transaction kiya in all transaction you can see one common point was that the class of shares changes whenever class of share changes means whenever face value changes tab aap karte ho old to new but you can see in this the class remains same the class remains same therefore therefore to aapko share certificate cancel means old share certificate will not be cancelled it will remain with the shareholders only you reduce what capital only aapko reduce kya karna hai capital karna hai have you understood this point bole ya suno means means isme likho due to this due to this can i say face value of shares remain same number of shares number of shares remain same and paid up capital paid up capital is reduced is reduced have you understood so reduction of paid up capital can be done in two ways either with change in face value or without change in face value means from examination question you to understand whether it is with or without changing phase value that you can understand easily once we'll go to the questions correct yes or no yes sir correct so these are the four these are the four not three important transaction from examination point of view alteration then reduction of uncalled capital and then reduction of paid up capital normally in exam they will start with reduction of paid up capital because this is the only objective of this chapter this is the only objective of this chapter now we'll come to the other transaction other transaction one by one finish karte hain all accounting statement point number ko likho other transactions other transaction related to related to internal 
reconstruction scheme point number a देखो रिडक्शन इन रिडक्शन इन द क्लेम्स ऑफ लाइबिलिटी रिडक्शन इन द क्लेम्स ऑफ लाइबिलिटी तो वाट जो एंट्री कैन इसे लाइबिलिटी भी रिड्यूस तो डिक्रीज इन लाइबिलिटी and this will be also transfer to capital reduction account means all the gain or loss due to this scheme will be transfer to one account capital reduction account it is as simple as what a nominal account nominal account samjhe is baat ko to capital reduction account correct then adam reduction in the claims of debenture holders reduction in the claims of debenture holders point number 1 With variation in rate of interest, with variation in rate of interest means suppose ten percent debenture is converted into twelve percent debentures means now we are saying that we will give you more interest. Lalas de rahegi. Yehi chip karo. कंपनी में चिप कर लो हम आपको फ्यूचर में मोर इंटरेस्ट देंगे करेक्ट ना तो दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ वन लालच वी आर गिविंग टू द डिवेंचर होल्डर सो दैट दे कैन दे कैन दे कैन व्हाट स्टे विद द कंपनी एंड दे विल नॉट डिमांड फॉर द लिक्विडेशन करेक्ट तो विद वेरिएशन द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट व्हाट जन एंट्री करेंगे ओल्ड डिवेंचर अकाउंट डेबिट to new debenture new debenture and if there is some capital if there is some reduction that will be transferred to capital reduction account capital reduction correct so if suppose 10 lakh now become 8 lakh to 2, 2 lakh is reduced 2 lakh is reduced understood it may be without variation also in rate of interest look without variation in rate of interest without variation in rate of interest then simple it will be jana entry is what debenture account debit means jo debenture a wide venture debenture account debit and that is reduced to capital reduction to capital reduction i think you have understood this point nothing to say yes sir correct point number c dekho reduction in the value of asset to reduction in the value of asset to can i say If you want to reduce the value of asset, this is the objective. Means if the asset is overvalued, to इसको reduce करेंगे. Now through which account? Capital reduction account. Capital reduction account means आप यहाँ पे AS10 नहीं लगाओगे. AS10 says reduction अगर आपको revalue करना है and there is a downward revaluation, then it will be debited to PL account. Upward revaluation it will go to revaluation surplus. Means under internal reconstruction scheme. then you will not apply any accounting standard or any provision of companies act are you getting sara cheez kis se karo sab capital reduction account se karenge why because we have taken the permission of high court samjhe na to all your accounting standard rules all your provision of companies act will become null and void till we are applying this scheme till we are applying this scheme ye baat samjhe yes sir to batao kya entry karenge 
कैपिटल रिडक्शन कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट डेबिट टू वाट टू एसिड्स वट एवर एसिड्स पॉइंट नंबर डी देखो दे कैन बी इंक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ एसिड ऑल्सो यस इंक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ एसिड तो दिस इंक्रीज इफ सपोज इट इज पीपी विल नॉट बी ट्रांसफर टू रीवैल्यूएशन सरप्लस रीवैल्यूएशन सरप्लस में ट्रांसफर नहीं करेंगे इट विल बी ट्रांसफर टू व्हाट कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट ओनली तो व्हाट जो एंट्री एसेट अकाउंट डेबिट टू कैपिटल रिडक्शन टू कैपिटल रिडक्शन करेक्ट then i don't point number e payment of payment of reconstruction expenses reconstruction expenses of course there will be some legal expenses filing fee in high court etc there are reconstruction expenses so this reconstruction expenses will be also written up through which account capital reduction account means what will be journal entry first journal entry is what reconstruction expense account debit to cash or bank and then this reconstruction expense will be written off by using which account capital reduction account capital reduction account debit to reconstruction expense reconstruction expense correct understood now from examination point of view we can pass one compound journal entry that is what capital reduction capital reduction account debit to what cash or bank means we can pass this compound journal entry cash or bank but narration likhna hai correct so being reconstruction expense paid that will be the narration this point have you understood bolo yes or no then point number f point number f dekho settlement settlement of contingent contingent liability so i think you all know that contingent liability is unrecorded it is only disclosed so contingent liability aapke books of account mein nahi aa raha hai but can a settlement ki it might happen there is some contingent liability which is not payable to usko pay karna padega correct na agreeing so contingent liability so i am just writing this is unrecorded unrecorded correct to so point number 1 isme likho if settled if settled by payment if settled by payment batao what journal entry if settled by payment to kya journal entry hona chahiye bolo yes or no everyone so if settled by payment to what can be the possible journal entry what can be the possible journal entry everyone if settled by payment then what can be the possible journal entry everyone respond now just try to understand if you are paying a recorded liability then your journal entry is liability account debit to bank but this is not recorded so can you pass the journal entry contingent liability account debit to bank no 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 
तो कैन यू से दिस इज पेड एंड कैन यू से दिस इज ओनली अ पेमेंट ऑफ एक्सपेंस व्हाटएवर तो इट इज सिमिलर टू व्हाट दिस जनरल एंट्री सिमिलर टू दिस तो कैन वी से वी कैन पास वन कंपाउंड जनरल एंट्री कैपिटल रिडक्शन कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट डेबिट टू करेक्ट कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट डेबिट टू कैश और बैंक अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग हां इफ देयर इज सम रिकॉर्डेड लायबिलिटी उसको पे कर रहे हैं इफ सम क्रेडिटर इज पेड देन तो क्रेडिटर अकाउंट डेबिट टू कैश और बैंक बट इट इज अनरिकॉर्डेड तो जब अनरिकॉर्डेड है तो लायबिलिटी इज नॉट कमिंग इन द बैलेंस शीट बट यू आर पेइंग तो दिस इज लॉस लॉस हुआ दिस लॉस विल बी रिटर्न अप थ्रू व्हिच अकाउंट कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट करेक्ट देन इफ सेटल्ड by cancellation means it might happen ki the contingent liability is cancelled if contingent liability is cancelled means if suppose recorded liability is cancelled then you are doing creditor account debit to capital reduction but this is not yet recorded so jab cancel hua there is no gain correct now you getting so contingent liability which was not a liability usko cancel kar rahe correct na to can is no jana entry no entry for this no entry correct understood this point have you understood this point bolo just write down one note dekho arrears of preference dividend Areas of preference dividend, in case of cumulative preference years, is nothing but contingent liability. आप समझे ना? तो any area of preference dividend for cumulative preference years is a contingent liability. Area of preference dividend for cumulative preference years is a contingent liability. correct so i think this you all know because we have discussed in company final account chapter correct na so if there is a cumulative preference years and the preference dividend is not declared so it will be carry forward to the next year so in the balance sheet this area of preference dividend will be shown as what contingent liability correct yes sir so area of preference dividend is a contingent liability This point you understood? Yes, sir. There are point number point number G. Correct. Look. Look. For writing of debit balance of debit balance of profit and loss account fictitious assets and goodwill and goodwill correct so can is the objective of this chapter is write of what the debit balance of pl account this is to this you have understood debit balance of pl account and can i say just try to understand If in my balance is goodwill is coming, so for a internally reconstructed company, goodwill value is zero only. Means there cannot be any value of goodwill appearing in the balance sheet. So, जब आप internally reconstruct करवा रहे हो, तो कौन सा value है? Zero value. तो goodwill will be also written off in this chapter. Entire goodwill will be written off until unless specified in the question that goodwill का कोई value है. Understood? And fictitious asset. Now there is no term fictitious asset. But suppose there are some expenditure which is not yet written off. For example, preliminary expenses not yet written off. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी अंडर राइटिंग कमीशन नॉट इन अफ तो वो बैलेंस शीट में डेबिट बैलेंस शीट में आता है Having a debit balance, having a debit balance means it will come in the answer side of the balance sheet. Having a debit balance, but now as per AS 26, there is no concept of fictitious asset. But if balance sheet is given, there is some fictitious asset. Fictitious asset means any asset without any real value. Means expenditure which are not yet written off. So, write fictitious asset are those expenditure. Which is not yet written off. So those expenditure which are not yet written off, those को भी write off करना है, correct ना? For example, I am just writing for this chapter point of view because in balance sheet they keep this type of expenditure which should not come in the balance sheet now after AS 26 intangible asset. जब हम एस ट्वेंटी सिक्स पढ़ाएंगे तो आपको बताएंगे दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर शुड बी रिटर्न ऑफ इमीडिएटली करेक्ट तो लिखो प्रीलिमिनरी एक्सपेंसेस अंडर राइटिंग कमीशन डिस्काउंट ऑन इशू ऑफ डिवेंचर्स तो दिस मे बी गिवन इन द बैलेंस शीट तो ऑफकोर्स उसको भी राइट ऑफ करना है तो वी नीड टू राइट ऑफ डेबिट बैलेंस ऑफ पी एल अकाउंट राइट ऑफ गुडविल वी नीड टू राइट ऑफ अदर फिक्टिशियस एसिड करेक्ट यस सर तो लिखो वट विल बी जन एंट्री कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट डेबिट capital reduction account debit to profit and loss account to goodwill to fictitious fictitious assets correct have you understood this point dekho note dekho above journal entry will be recorded will be recorded even if question is silent even if question is silent even if question is silent because yahi to objective hai agar aap pr ko write off nahi karoge to internal reconstruction kis baat ka karwa rahe ho have you understood this point so this jana entry will be done even though question has not given any information to write off pl account of fictitious asset etc correct understood dekho other intangible assets other intangible asset will be reduced only when specified in the question is specified in question to so suppose there is some patent copyright uska value ho sakta hai so that will be reduced only when specified in the question dekho the value of goodwill the value of goodwill should be reduced should be fully reduced fully reduced unless otherwise specified in the question 
unless otherwise unless otherwise specified in the question is baat ko samjhe means if the goodwill is 1 lakh to usko pura reduce kar denge lekin agar question mein bol diya the question has given they will reduce only 20000 then we reduce only 20000 means we respect the information given in the question correct i think this also you have understood correct now last journal entry point number g ho gaya point number h देखो, फॉर क्लोजिंग ऑफ विच अकाउंट क्लोजिंग ऑफ कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड तो लिखो पॉइंट नंबर वन इफ if capital reduction account if capital reduction account has surplus balance has surplus balance correct so when this situation will arise when the reduction is more than loss means reduction by the members and creditor is more than loss jisko write off karna hai to of course kya hai capital reduction will have surplus balance so this surplus will be transferred to capital reserve so at the end of internal reconstruction scheme isko hum kahan transfer kar denge capital reserve account mein transfer kar denge to what journal entry capital reduction account debit to what capital reserve capital reserve point number 2 if capital reduction capital reduction has deficit balance deficit balance correct now means when this error will arise when the reduction is less than loss practically this situation will never arise because if the reduction by the members and creditor is less than what the total loss so high court will only not give permission aap samjhe na the practically this situation will not arise but theoretically means from examination point of view when question mein koi mistake to aisa situation aa sakta hai in this situation hum kya karenge will use other reserve appearing in the balance sheet correct na hum dusra reserve lenge for example we'll use securities premium we can use securities premium account debit we can use other reserve appearing in the balance sheet other reserve appearing in the balance sheet to write off such loss capital reduction understood meri baat ko understood so it means it might happen there is some other reserve appearing in the balance sheet that reserve can be used to write off that loss also correct na to ant mein agar capital reduction ka deficit balance aa raha hai it means in balance sheet mein sab reserve aayega there will be some reserve so we can use premium also means if when we have done companies act then premium can be used for five purpose and there was no purpose for capital reduction means premium five purpose ke liye use sakta batao kya kya first for bonus years second to write off preliminary expenses third to write off what uh, underwriting commission and discount on issue of debenture then what to write off premium payable on redemption venture then for buyback of equity shares correct na dekho kahin par kya nahi likha hua hai capital reduction nahi likha means sorry internal reconstruction scheme nahi likha hua hai but in this chapter once we apply this chapter once we receive the high court approval then we do not apply the provision of companies act means premium is available for any purpose securities premium can be used to write off any type of loss is chapter mein understood meri baat ko have you understood this point correct any doubt 
Have you understood this point? सारा जन एंट्री हो गया करेक्ट वेरी सिंपल जन एंट्री चैप्टर बहुत आसान है लिखो नोट लिखो कैपिटल रिडक्शन अकाउंट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज is also known as capital reconstruction account or capital reorganization account Don't be confused if they have used this type of term to prepare reconstruction account, reorganization account. So, I will explain to you about this. Correct? Then, point number B. Write. Write. After completion. After completion of internal reconstruction scheme, after completion of internal reconstruction scheme, देखो, the word and reduced. and reduced will be added will be added after the name of the company after the name of company in every published financial statement correct na every published financial statement till high court withdraw this what withdraw this withdraw withdraw this what name agar high court bolta hai ki ab zarurat nahi hai tab chhod deng tab kar deng to high court will give permission not to use this name only once high court will be of the view that now the company is into what profitable situations correct understood yes sir so it means in examination question when you are preparing balance it after the scheme you need to write down and reduce and if you are not writing and reduce they may deduct marks they may deduct marks correct so all the points all the all the journal entries from examination point of view over correct examination name mein maine aapko pura hi bata diya hai understood now we'll take some questions we'll take some questions can we come to the questions bolo come to question number 1 page number 63 everyone question number 1 page number 63 let me open the chapter so come to question number 1 theek hai I think you don't have any doubt. कोई doubt नहीं है बड़े प्यार से समझा दिया मैंने आपको कोई doubt आना भी नहीं चाहिए On 31st 12 2009, I am reading question number रीडिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी थ्री आर यू रेडी विद द बुक तो ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड नाइन बी लिमिटेड है ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज टेन इक्विटी शेयर एज ऑथोराइज कैपिटल एंड द शेयर वे ऑल इशूड ऑन विच एट वॉज पेड अप So ten rupees and eight rupees was paid up. In June 2010, the company in general meeting decided to subdivide each shares into two shares of rupees five each, with rupees four paid up. Means can I say the phase means the shares of rupees ten each, rupees eight paid up will be converted into what into 
टू शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज फाइव इच रुपीज फोर पेड अप तो वन शेयर्स विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू शेयर सब डिविजन इन जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन द कंपनी इन जनरल मीटिंग रिजॉल्व टू कॉन्सोलिडेट ट्वेंटी शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज फाइव रुपीज फोर पर शेयर पेड अप इन टू वन शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड रुपीज एट्टी पेड अप पांच जनरल एंट्रीज एंड सो हाउ द कैपिटल विल अपियर इन नोट टू अकाउंट इन बैलेंस शीट एस ऑन टू थाउजेंड नाइन टू थाउजेंड टेन एंड टू थाउजेंड इलेवन करेक्ट तो लेटस टेक दिस क्वेश्चन कुछ समझाना है जनरल एंट्री इज वेरी सिंपल तो देखो वी आर डूइंग जनरल एंट्री इन द बुक्स ऑफ इन द बुक्स ऑफ बी लिमिटेड करेक्ट रेड अप बुक्स ऑफ बी लिमिटेड जनरल बुक्स ऑफ बी लिमिटेड जर्नल तो फर्स्ट दे हैव डन सब डिविजन इन जून टू थाउजेंड टेन तो इन जून टू थाउजेंड टेन तो कैन इस इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल Of rupees ten, of rupees ten. So here we have to write face value, not that it is paid up value. Of rupees ten, correct. So it was how much? Twenty thousand shares. Of rupees paid up value is eight. So twenty thousand into eight means one lakh sixty thousand is now subdivided to in subdivision paid up capital remain. सेम तो यहां लिखेंगे टू इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ना ऑफ रुपीज फाइव एंड द पेड ऑफ कैपिटल रिमेन सेम करेक्ट तो वट इज द नंबर ऑफ शेयर बता वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फाइव डिवाइड बाई फोर सॉरी वन लैख सिक्स थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फोर बिकॉज पेड ऑफ वैल्यू इज फोर तो नॉट बिकम हाउ मच कितना हो गया बताओ एवरीवन तो कहने से नाउ इट इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज फोर सॉरी ऑफ रुपीज फाइव रुपीज फोर पेड अप रुपीज फोर पेड अप करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड means one shares one shares of rupees 5 one shares of rupees 10 rupees 8 paid up is converted into two shares of rupees 5 rupees 4 paid up correct understood likhenge b being, being being 20000 equities shares of rupees 10 each rupees 8 paid up is subdivided subdivided into 40000 equities shares of rupees 5 of rupees 5 rupees 4 paid up understood this point to so, sub division jana entry yes sir correct then again in june 2011 means after one year they want to consolidate ab wo consolidate karna chahte to likho june 2011 जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन तो वी हैव इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ रुपीज फाइव रुपीज फोर बेड अप करेक्ट तो इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ रुपीज फाइव वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड करेक्ट 
so this is how much 40000 into 4 it will be now converted into equity shares of rupees kitna of rupees 100 rupees 80 paid up ya likhenge equity share capital equity share capital rupees 100 rupees 100 paid up capital remains same can you give me the number of shares number of shares kitna hoga batao so after subdivision number of shares sorry after consolidation the number of shares will be how much so it will be 1 lakh 60 thousand divide by paid up divide by 80 is equal to 2000 so now it will be 2000 shares of rupees 100 80 rupees paid up 80 rupees paid up understood this point yes sir looking at being being 40,000 equity shares of rupees 5 each rupees 4 paid up consolidated is consolidated into 2000 equity shares of rupees 100 each rupees 80 paid up understood this point two journal entries very simple now they have asked you the balance sheet up the balance sheet pucha the balance sheet banate okay means they have asked the notes to account in balance sheet to liko notes to balance sheet liko point number one as on as on 31st 12 2009 means before subdivision before subdivision push time to bata what we write down Correct. So first we write on authorized authorized capital. Authorized capital. So can I say before subdivision, how many shares kitna authorized are 20,000? 20, 20,000 authorized. Looking at 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each that is 2 lakh authorized correct then we write down issued subscribed and paid up and paid up correct so it is 20,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each rupees 8 paid up rupees 8 paid up so this will be 160000 correct so this is the what aapka balance sheet extract hai notes to account ka extract hai bolo yes no have you understood this point then point number 2 as on as on 31st 12 2010 31st 12 2010 means after subdivision after subdivision can i say it become just try to understand it becomes shares of rupees 5 so can i say it means you need to change authorize also authorize ko bhi aapko change karna hai now you can't write authorize capital of rupees 10 each so of course we can alter authorize capital by passing necessary resolution ye aapko pata hai samjhe to yahan par ab aap 10 nahi likh sakte ho to kya likhoge Authorized, authorized. So it will be what? Batao. Now it will be how many? So it will be forty thousand equity shares of rupees five each. Of rupees five is two lakh. This point you understood. 
so this you need to alter by your own means you need to change the authorized capital as per the requirement of the question as per the requirement of the question so 2 lakh divided by 5 ho jayega means 40000 ebdcs correct yes sir isko to aap close kar doge fir likhoge issued subscribed and paid up so that will be what 40000 equity shares of rupees 5 each rupees 4 paid up so you can see your paid up capital remain same aapka paid up capital remain same ho gaya but in notes to account you should write down properly in exam correct then point number 3 as on 31st 12 2011 so now means after consolidation they want the notes for what share capital so now it become shares of rupees 100 each so 2 lakh divided by 100 kar denge so 2000 equity shares 2000 equity shares meri baat samajh pa rahe ho yes sir to yahan likhenge authorized capital this is what now 2000 equity shares of rupees 100 each of rupees 100 each to wo kitna aaya how much 2 lakh only yes sir and then we write on issued subscribed and paid up and paid up to wo kitna hoga batao 2000 equity shares of rupees 100 each rupees 80 paid up rupees 80 paid up i think you are understanding kuch samjhane ki zarurat nahi hai bolo aap samajh rahe ho bolo have you understood this point question number 1 completed क्वेश्चन नंबर वन में कोई डाउट नहीं है तो विद दिस वी अंडरस्टूड सब डिवीजन एंड कंसोलिडेशन बट वन डाउट विल कम इन योर माइंड आई डोंट नो व्हाई यू आर नॉट आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन बट एक डाउट आ सकता है उसको अभी सॉल्व कर देते नहीं तो बाद में परेशानी होगा क्वेश्चन ये है सर वी आर डूइंग व्हाट रिडक्स वी आर इन दिस चैप्टर वी वांट रिडक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल सो दैट वी कैन राइट ऑफ लॉसेस सो व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ अल्टरेशन सब अब ये क्यों कर रहे हैं व्हाई यू आर डूइंग सब डिवीजन व्हाई यू आर डूइंग कंसोलिडेशन इफ देयर इज नो रिडक्शन इन पेड अप कैपिटल दस रुपये का शेयर्स को आप कभी पांच का बना देते हो कभी पांच का आप सौ का बना देते हो मीन व्हाट इज द यूज व्हेन यू आर कन्वर्टिंग अ शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज टेन इंटू फाइव एंड देन फाइव इंटू टेन व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस दिस माइट बी अ डाउट बताओ वेदर दिस डाउट केम वेदर दिस डाउट केम इन योर माइंड और यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस डाउट फर्स्ट रेस्पॉन्ड क्या ये डाउट आ रहा था एवरी वन रेस्पॉन्ड everyone respond whether this doubt you were getting or you were not getting understood the doubt ki sir in this chapter we want reduction of paid up capital so that we can write up the accumulated losses with the alteration there is no reduction of paid up capital so why we are doing alteration hum alteration kar kyu rahe hain understood the doubt have you understood bolna re have you understood doubt no one is responding only chalo theek hai i think the same doubt will come in your mind when you will do revision as a doubt aa sakta hai to just try to understand suppose we have three different class of shares of rupees 10 of rupees 100 and of rupees 50 we have three different class of equity shares suppose 10000 equity shares yahan par 10000 equity shares we have 10000 equity shares so we have three different class of equity shares correct now these all are equity shareholders means when we will call the meeting all will come all equity shareholders will come now suppose this side 50 rupees wala baithe hue hain this side 10 rupees wale baithe hue hain this side 100 rupees were sitting 
means there are three different class of shares from where from whom you are doing negotiating can i say it will be difficult to negotiate with all equity shareholders at the same time because there are some there are different class of equity shares holder who are attending the meeting so first what you will do before negotiating with them before negotiating with them for compromise before negotiating with them for compromise what we'll do we'll we will make all equity shares in into same class correct na means either will convert all equity shares of rupees 10 or of rupees 100 or of rupees 50 so when they will become same class then only can is negotiation is possible at one time with all equity shareholders correct na so alteration will not result alteration will not result in reduction of paid up capital but to make all equity shares of same class alteration may be required in this chapter alteration may be required in this chapter i think now you have understood why alteration may be required in this chapter bolo yes or no have you understood yes sir we have understood correct come to next question come to question number 2 question number 2 theek hai abc company limited as on 31st december 2007 has 80000 equity shares of rupees 10 is rupees 8 per share called up in july 2008 the company decided to reduce it to 8 per fully paid up by cancelling unpaid amount of rupees 2 per share means this is a cancellation of uncalled capital This is the cancellation of uncalled capital. You are required to pass necessary journal entry and so how the paid up capital will appear in two balance sheet in 2007 and 2008. Correct? Now understood? Means let us do this journal entry also. So this is reduction of yeah cancellation of uncalled capital. Can entry pass? Can you give me? Tell me. What will be journal entry? Very simple. Journal entry. Tell me. So we are doing question number two. Page number. What is it? पेज नंबर इज 64 तो व्हाट विल बी जर्नल एंट्री तो इन दिस आल्सो दे विल बी चेंज इन क्लास तो व्हाट जर्नल एंट्री इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इनिशियली ऑफ रुपीस 10 इनिशियली ऑफ रुपीस 10 तो हाउ मेनी शेयर्स 80000 What is the paid up value? That is eight. So this is nothing but six lakh forty thousand. Six lakh forty thousand. Now it will become equity share capital. Equity share capital of rupees eight only. So number of shares remains same in this eighty thousand into eight. So it is now fully called up. So it is six lakh forty thousand. Six lakh forty thousand. Understood. So now, from partly called up, it is converted into fully called up. Correct? Because being being cancellation cancellation of uncalled capital of rupees two. per share of rupees 2 per share correct understood now let us prepare the notes to account dekho notes to balance sheet correct notes to balance sheet as on point number 1 iska इसमें लिख लो डेट ऑफ रिडक्स डेट ऑफ कैंसिलेशन वाज जुलाई 2008 ये लिखा नहीं मैंने तो इट इज जुलाई 2008 करेक्ट तो रेड ऑन एस ऑन एस ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड सेवन बिफोर कैंसिलेशन बताओ क्या करोगे तो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग ओनली नोट फॉर शेयर कैपिटल ओके
शेयर कैपिटल लिख देता हूं तो ऑथराइज तो इट वाज हाउ मच शेयर्स हाउ मेनी शेयर्स एट्टी थाउजेंड इक्विटी शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज टेन इच तो इट इज एट लैख करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड देन इशूड सब्सक्राइब्ड एंड पेड अप तो इट इज एट्टी थाउजेंड इक्विटी शेयर्स ऑफ रुपीज टेन इंच रुपीज एट पेड अप तो इट इज सिक्स लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड वेरी सिंपल करेक्ट यस सर पॉइंट नंबर टू एस ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड एट नो कॉन्सेंट्रेट शेयर कैपिटल ऑथराइज ना बताओ ऑथराइज कैपिटल विल बी हाउ मच लेट सी हाउ यू आर रेस्पेंडिंग रेस्पॉन्डिंग ऑथराइज कैपिटल विल बी हाउ मच यही मुझे आपको बताना था इस क्वेश्चन से वट विल बी द ऑथराइज कैपिटल बताओ इन दिस केस वट विल बी द ऑथराइज कैपिटल एवरी वन रेस्पॉन्ड फर्स्ट ऑथराइज कैपिटल कितना होना चाहिए एवरी वन ऑथराइज कैपिटल शुड बी हाउ मच दिस क्वेश्चन आई है फॉर दिस पर्पज जाना एंट्री तो बड़ा आसान था इसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है तो आई हैव टेकन दिस क्वेश्चन ओनली टू इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट ऑथराइज कैपिटल अबाउट ऑथराइज कैपिटल बता हाउ मच शुड बी ऑथराइज कैपिटल I was expecting same answer from you. Eighty thousand into eight. आप बोलने वाले थे गलत. Correct. Can you reduce your authorized capital? No, 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 no. ये तो ये आप reduce नहीं कर सकते हो. Just try to understand. You cannot reduce. It is only alteration of share capital. You cannot by your own reduce your authorized capital until it is specified in the question. Means this will remain eight lakh only. Eight lakh. इसको आप कम नहीं कर सकते हो. Are you able to understand? हाँ. Now eight lakh divided by eight means now how many shares? So number of authorized shares will increase. So it will be now one lakh equity shares of rupees what eight each. आप समझ रहे हो मेरी बात को? So you have done alteration only in face value. The amount of authorized capital you cannot change. Amount of authorized capital you cannot change. Correct now because that was the maximum capital. Uh, Mention in your what memorandum of association. Ab samjhe is baat ko. Have you understood this point? Yes, sir. Then write down. Issued, subscribed, and paid up. So this will be this will be what eighty thousand equity shares of rupees eight each, and now fully paid up. Now fully paid up. Have you understood this point? So this will be six lakh forty thousand. This will be six lakh forty thousand. Have you understood this point? Correct. समझ गए? So this is danger. In exam, this is danger. Be careful. Be careful about this. I mean, this will not affect the total of balance sheet, but of course, the marks will be deducted if you have not mentioned correct authorized capital. This also you have understood, correct. Now the come to the last question of today. Question number three. Question number three. ABC Company Limited had 31 December 2007 rupees 4 lakh authorized capital divided into 40 40,000 equity shares or rupees 10. Correct. All these shares were issued and fully paid up. Yes. Sir. June 2008, the company decided to pay off rupees two per share 
to make the shares of rupees 8 fully paid oh ho oh, oh. so now they are saying out of rupees 10 2 rupees will be paid off means 2 rupees will not be reduced it will be paid off yahan payment kar raha hai to yahan reduction nahi ho raha hai and so that now equity shares will become shares of rupees 8 fully paid off so they will be changing class changing class changing class with payment i have not given this type of jana entry in your in your accounting statement but now you have understood what to be done so there is changes in class of capital as well as payment as well as payment not reduction as well as payment not reduction so kya entry hoga batao question number 3 we are doing page number it is 65 page number 65 so what is your entry equity share capital means jana entry has been done in which date june 2008 june 2008 so can i say equity share capital of rupees 10 of rupees 10 account debit what is the number number of shares is what number of shares 40000 into 10 तो ये कितना होया 4 लाख इसमें से पेमेंट कितना कर दिया टू बैंक पेमेंट तो बोला 40000 into 2 दे विल पे तो इट मींस 80000 पेड एंड नाउ द बैलेंस विल बिकम इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल ऑफ रुपीस 8 तो चेंजेस इन क्लास हो रहा है इफ देयर वाज ओनली पेमेंट विदाउट चेंजिंग क्लास तब होता इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल टू बैंक ओनली आप समझे दिस पॉइंट so now it will become 40,000 into 8. So 40,000 into 8 means what? 3,20,000. Have you understood this journal entry? Correct? Bolo. Being. Being. 40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each converted into 40,000 equity shares of rupees 8 each and balance paid and balance paid this point you understood yes sir balance it banalete notes to balance it First is as on 31st December 2007. Correct? Share capital. Authorized. So, how much authorized? 40,000. Equity shares of rupees 10 each means 4 lakh. 4 lakh. Correct. Then add on issued, subscribed, and paid up. So it is 40,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid up. Fully paid up. Ye kitna ya? 4 lakh. This was the simple. Yes, sir. Ye point samjhe? Bolo. Have you understood this point? Then, point number 2. Right on. As on 31st, 12, 2008. You will say me, what will be the authorized capital? Batao. Authorized capital kitna hoga? Everyone respond. Authorized capital. Everyone respond, what will be authorized capital? Batao. Authorized capital will be how much?
in this now what will be authorized capital everyone respond are 4 lakh to hoga number of shares bata number of shares will be what so can i see we cannot change it this will remain same so now it will be 4 lakh divided by 8 means 50000 to 50000 equity shares of rupees 8 each correct to this will be 4 lakh yes sir and issued subscribed and paid up will be how much 40000 equity shares of rupees 80 each fully paid up fully paid up this will be how much kitna hoga it will be 3 lakh 20000 Three lakh twenty thousand done. Correct. Have you understood? So we have done three small questions. Three small questions. Yeah. Correct. Time bhi khatam ho gaya aaj ka. I think up to this no doubt. So today we have done all the varieties of journal entries as well as three small small questions related to capital. Related to capital. Tomorrow we will start the full fledged questions. कि वट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क इन एग्जाम करेक्ट आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड टिल दिस वट एवर वी हैव डन यू अंडरस्टूड टू विल मीट टुमारो टिल देम बाय बाय टेक केयर एंजॉय योर रिमेनिंग क्लासेस बाय बाय टेक केयर